Ready. Let's do it. Well, it's a venue that needs no introduction. The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, even for Boston. I have levels of appreciation for the Bills. I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chills because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, this place is going nuts. We got a ball on our hands, folks. The fans are out of their seat. These guys are getting after it. Plans a good combination. All right, early action here. And a nice hit by the boxer gets home on the kickboxer. This is exactly the range in which he wants to be from. Yeah, because it limits the kickboxer. And the kickboxer has a very high guard. So if you're tight and you just pivot with the hook, it lands around that guard, and he does a lot of damage with it. Oh, nice jab by McGregor. Strong inside leg kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, few fighters managed to... Oh! certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the charges with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Nicely done with the kick there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. How clean is that jab by Hooker? Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, nice strike landed there by McGregor. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Back to the overhand left, no good. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the gun. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, both shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, so now we start to see some visible damage in the form of swelling as the ground and pound strikes continue to land. All right, feet on the hips here. Nice job staying offensive there as he lands a shot from the bottom. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Well, that's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four or five. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of that. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice inside leg kick. Yeah. That's good defense to get that guard up. McGregor's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, big left hook there. McGregor's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. McGregor gets caught by another 
sidekick, and until he can answer, oh. that weapon's gonna keep hey, on stop. coming. Round two is next. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Just an absolute piston, and it lands in. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, my goodness. He's hurting the bad man. That right hook is nasty. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh! Big right hand. That one is about to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, big left hand there. Oh, that's Jack Oh, oh nice. Perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. So wisely, he continues to attack that area. Oh, gotta keep pressing here. Doling out punishment here. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take. Right up the cut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first and it got right to the target. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but... Oh! Oh, again. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four rounds gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Oh, McGregor's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. While the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axe. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you've got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, everybody wants a piece of Conor McGregor, of course, including his opponent here tonight. But what else can you say about McGregor's ability to manage his time and everything that has been asked of him since he vaulted to not just MMA superstardom, but A-list celebrity status? Back and forth we go. Trying to kick the leg out. 
required. 45 seconds now to go on the round. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh, oh, I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We send it inside now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! All right, well, as many of you know, the overwhelming majority of Conor McGregor's pro 